Welcome back to the Jenna Jillian Handshake Podcast. Slap it up. Coming in hot with another episode. Thank you guys for joining us today. This episode is brought to you by... We have a couple new sponsors today. Firstly, Stitch Fix. Guys, if you like fashion, like me, an icon of fashion. (laughs) If you like fashion, but you feel like it's too intense to go shopping or deal with any of that, Stitch Fix does the hard work for you and it's all online. It is pretty much a personal styling service. Uh, And you can take, you go onto the website and you basically fill out all these preferences. I I tried it. It's incredibly thorough. Uh, And basically you get paired with your own personal stylist who's going to send you clothes that work for you and your style. Uh, Right now, get started at Stitch Fix. That's S-T-I-T-C-H-F-I-X.com slash Jenna Julian. You get an extra 25% off on us. Also, guys... A new sponsor as well, HoneyBook. If you were a freelancer of like a graphic design nature or a photographer doing the administration, you know, administration work or the business side of things uh, to run your company or run your business is always kind of the hard part and the not desirable part. Well, HoneyBook is there to help you with that. It's an all-in-one business management platform for creative, creative small businesses. Uh, They help with all sorts of tools that you need. We'll get into it later right now. Go to honeybook.com, H-O-N-E-Y-B-O-O-K.com and uh, use code Jenna Julian to get 50% off your first year. 50%. Also guys, The Skim, you know The Skim is uh, the wonderful newsletter that rolls up into your DMs, well sort of your inbox on your email every single morning with all what you need to know in the world. The Skim is, The Skim is great. And it'll help you dominate your conversations at work, especially at the water cooler. Right now, go to the skim, that's T-H-E-S-K-I-M-M dot com slash Jenna Julian. Enter your email, click subscribe, and you're done. It's completely free. Also, you're entered to win a $250 Visa gift card when you do that. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. Welcome back. How's it going? Are my teeth yellow? No, are mine? No, are mine? No. We just, we drank some turmeric ginger shots. We're so LA. Why is turmeric and ginger LA? Just shots of of wellness fruits and vegetables. To be fair, you and I both adore it, so we didn't really have a shot. I had like half a cup of it. <laughs> like I love it. I'm just joshing you. I love it. Ginger like makes me feel so good and like I'd never use it for nausea until you gave me some in Australia one time. What's the matter with No, you? I just feel good. I feel like flush and ready. Like I have energy now. I was tired. Before. I don't feel like I have energy. I have energy. More energy than I did before. I'm no. It just like it just makes me feel good. No, I have. You have energy from ginger. No, I have energy from the the tincture that we well not a tincture. It's just kind of like a mixture of juices. It's juice of ginger, turmeric, lemon, and apple. Uh huh. And it just makes me juiced up. Oh my god. No pun intended. Because it's literal juice. Anyways, no, your teeth aren't orange from turmeric. Are my teeth yellow? No. <clears throat> They're not. What is this podcast, Julian? Uh, this is the Jenna Julian podcast. No, 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 no. Where you what, can what are we talk doing? about all sorts of stuff. What, what is this that we're doing, Julian? Oh, I had an idea that uh, <laughs> I had an idea that I would get. I don't know what's going on. I had an idea the other day that I would get thrown into the Shark Tank. If you've ever watched the show Shark Tank on ABC, I believe. Dun, 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 dun. Are you going to play it for me? Play that? Uh, I can play. Okay. It. I, I'll do. It. I'll, you play it. I'll do it. I'll do it. What What is going on? So, if you've ever watched the I... show Shark Tank, uh, basically, you know, it's a show where people come in with their small businesses, their inventions, their ideas, and they pitch it to a room full of sharks, quote unquote, who are basically business moguls, investors, very successful Yeah, people. they're looking for money for in exchange for stock in their company or that kind of thing. Or they just, they want help to grow their business. Yeah. So like Mark Cuban, Mark Cuban, uh, Mark Lori Cuban. Lori Grenier, <laughs> Damon John, creator of FUBU. Creator of the legendary. Robert Hershevik, who, who inv- literally never puts an offer on the table ever. And that's the tea. Like it's, Barbara, I'm who sorry. is also a queen. Love her. What's her last I name? I love Lori Corcoran. Corcoran. I love Lori too so much. Um, and uh, Mr. Wonderful. 
Kevin O'Leary. It's a good. It's a good group of people. And then there's Robert. <laughs> One of our favorite things to do when we're watching Shark Tank was just fun make fun of Robert. I'm it's sure he's because, a fucking dope guy, but, but like because, he's like, just so fun to hate on. You're just, like, oh, Robert, what, uh, you're gonna be out. No shit. Oh, no shit. He never fucking makes an offer. Here's the thing. I would respect him or not make fun of him more if he, like, every single time someone pitched an idea, he was like, no, nah, I'm out. You know, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not interested. But instead, he has to, like, do this whole charade where he's like, oh, oh, oh can I try? Oh, my God. Yeah, he's always oh, the one that so tries, tries oh, the you're product. So brilliant. Like, I'm so proud of you. Oh, but I'm out. Yeah, he always and it's like, wait, what? Like, what? Every single time he does that, uh-huh. he like acts so excited. He's the first one to demo a product or to ask questions or to like connect with them or try to connect or whatever. And then he's like, then he like inserts himself while the others are negotiating. And he's like, oh, um, it's like an excuse. He's like, ah, I, I can't do it. It's like he's broke or something. <laughs> You know? I, yeah, I just think it's really funny that even if he put if he does put an offer on the table, nobody picks him, and like he'll even put like a better offer out, and someone will take the worse offer <laughs> to not get him to work with like Barbara. Or Again, something. no actual it's hate really, on Robert. Not Hershey at that, all. I'm sure he's a great guy, but uh, it's just funny. It's like funny how it pays because they all have their role. You know, it's like um, Damon's the clothing guy, right? Lori's the QVC. The investor, and then you have like Mr. Wonderful who has the the thing in his ear. He's be, being the producer. He's always sort of. asking he's like for moving things along, and he yeah, he's also the one that will just throw out an offer that has to do with okay, you give me one dollar per unit you sell in perpetuity. Yeah. I don't know any stock, whatever. And then Mark Cuban, I feel like invests mostly in tech or like uh, tech and food. He does food too. Yeah, and he's some st- other yeah. stuff. But it's really funny because from what I can remember. The companies that Robert has successfully invested in are like Mench on a Bench, which is like the, it's cute, but it's completely seasonal. It's like a, a it's um, Elf on a Shelf, but for Hanukkah, it's Mench on a Bench. So it's a little stuffed Mench. Jewish man toy <laughs> with, a, with a book. And then he also invested in Tipsy Elves. Who used to be a sponsor of our podcast. Another short person like what? that he invested in. The Mench on the Bench is like he's just got two short person inventions, like two small like figurines. I mean, Elf is not what he's selling, but it's like the brand for Elf on a shelf. Well, tips. It's funny or because tipsy elves, right, yeah. one's a Christmas company. They're both seasonal. <laughs> and then he he invested in some like panning for gold bucket. What? <laughs> you don't remember he invested that. in a panning for gold bucket? It was cool, but it's like it's it's a bucket. He runs like an online or like an internet security thing for something like right? that. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, if you watch Shark Tank, anyway, you might enjoy any of what we just said. That's not the podcast. I still don't really know what this podcast is. Thank you really. guys. We'll see you next week. <clears throat> that is the podcast. I no, disagree. It's not. The podcast is I am gonna be going into the shark tank oh and Jenna God. will be the shark. I have compiled, uh, I think, 17 of my cream of the crop Julian inventions. So this is like snake oil, but without picking cards. They just came from your brain. Yeah, it's pretty much snake oil, but we're going to act like it's uh, something different. (laughs) 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 No, it's it's like uh, Julian enters the shark tank, right? Like I have my inventions and you have to decide if you want to invest in them or not. So you came up with 17 inventions? Yeah. Roughly? Roughly. Give or take... 10. Give or take 17. So I might have zero. Help us. I don't, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this amount of Aries. All right. First up in the tank, it's Julian Solomita, who will be pitching some mystery product and or service to the one and only shark, Jenna, who also is completely unwilling to be here or <laughs> invest any money. She is here against her will completely. All right. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry, Mumbo. What do you got? Hello, sharks. My name is Julian. Oh, God. Is this when they play that like uplifting, tinkly music? I'm talking, shark. I'm sorry. Because you're not eating me yet. I'm just trying to swim. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you ever have a drink <laughs> where... I'm nervous because you're not <laughs> laughing at me. Do you ever have a drink where... Where you're trying to sip through a straw, but then at the end of the drink, you just get a bunch of crunchy like, or a powder or, or coffee grinds. Something at the bottom of the cup that you don't want, right? Yes, yeah, It sometimes. all settles at the bottom. Or even sugar. If you drink coffee fast enough and you pull a lot of sugar in it, just and then 
like instant sugar, but bad. Mm -hmm. You ever do that? Yeah. Pause. Well, <laughs> don't you wish you could mix it around while also sipping through the straw? I mean, I hold it right there. Introducing a straw whisk. It's a straw no. with a tiny whisk at the very <laughs> tip of it so that you can foam and even mix things at the very bottom while also sipping through the straw. How are you claiming that you can foam things with a tiny whisk? Well, if you whisk anything hard enough, it becomes foam. So I'm not the creator of science. I'm just the deliverer. <laughs> I'm the delivery man. Absolutely false. I am not the creator of science. I am simply the delivery man of it. Oh, okay. I'm delivering you science in the form of a straw whisk. You're the great descendant of Nikola Tesla, aren't you? Yes. Do you have any questions about uh, my invention? Yeah. What's it made out of? Uh, metal. The whole straw is metal? Well, titanium. And the, <laughs> the whisk is metal as well? The whisk is plastic. We couldn't get a metal whisk. Oh, But it okay. works. It works. Just don't put it in the dishwasher or wash it with hot water. So I can't put it in the dishwasher or wash it with hot water. Lukewarm at best. <laughs> so how am I going to clean this? Just rinse it with cold water. <laughs> what if I drink something really grainy or like Let it messy? soak overnight. Maybe two nights to be safe. Okay. I have like a general rule for me personally. If it can't go in the washer and dryer or in the dishwasher, I don't want it. Hold on. I'm getting word. Okay. We can do metal whisks. Okay. Thank you. But it's going to be a different color than the other metal. So you're going to see a difference in color from metal to metal. It's not going to be a seamless design. Mm -hmm. Also, do you do you want to know if I have a patent? Do you have a no. patent? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a patent. How <laughs> much is each straw and can you buy them in packs? Uh, you, you can buy them in packs of one. We only sell them individually. <laughs> so just cool it with trying to get a packs. Okay. What if I have like a restaurant or like a... A coffee shop. Then you buy one at a time like everybody else. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. The straw goes for $9.99. $10? $9.99. Excuse you. Okay. It costs us $8.50 to make them. <laughs> we have horrible <laughs> margins. <laughs> we need help. I don't know why it's so expensive to make a straw whisk. Do you have any sales? <clears throat> Um, well, I gave one to my grandma, but <laughs> she didn't pay me. So, uh, I gave one away. All right. Julian, listen, I think it's a, it's a cool idea. I haven't seen anything like it on the market. Also, if you, if you spin oh the cup God. fast enough while you're holding the straw whisk in your mouth, you, you can whisk without actually having to move your face. <laughs> <laughs> Just whisk. That's amazing. <clears throat> and I think you should keep going. Just don't get it near your teeth. Unfortunately, you... I'm out. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. I think Is there so. anything I could do? No, but just pitch me your Wait, next we have product. a patent. <laughs> you don't. We got one. When did you get a patent? Just now. Did you file for one or you just, you just gave it to yourself? I drew one. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. What if I get a patent tomorrow? No. Can I come back? No. <laughs> you don't have any profit margin whatsoever. Well, we also don't have... We're not in the negative. I've only made one. I need help manufacturing them. <laughs> I need lots of help manufacturing them because it cost me $8 to manufacture them. Are you making them. these at home by yes. yourself? Yeah. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> Are you sure? Absolutely out. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sharks. <laughs> All right. Who's next in the tank? <laughs> Are you going to be Julian the whole time or is there other people coming? Hello, my name is Noah. That's your middle name. Don't you expose me like that. It's my first name because I'm Noah. No, I'm going to be myself all the time. I'm okay. Julian. All right. Welcome back to the tank, Julian. Thank you for welcoming me back to the tank, even though it's my first time here. We've talked about this before. When you're waking up in the morning and you're choking down all those vitamins and you think to yourself, what the fuck am I doing? To get all these vitamins, I have to choke down these huge horse pills, chunky, chunky horse pills. In fact, that's on our product. It says no more chunky, chunky horse pills. <laughs> uh, whatever vitamin you are deficient in, because you're probably deficient in lots of them, uh, you, you don't, you take them in the most inefficient way. You just choke down these huge pills. Sometimes you gag, and that's the start of your day, gagging. I gag on a pill. sometimes. 
on pills. Wouldn't you? And every every time you're throwing them in your throat and you're sipping the water, you just you're just damn. I wish I was like eating French fries or something. Well, now you can get your vitamins when you're eating your French fries with vitamin ketchup. Oh my! We actually you might have heard about this, this as I've made appearances with oh. my adventure on multiple outlets online. <clears throat> vitamin ketchup has all of the major vitamins A through D, D through uh, P. We don't have. We don't have iron in it. We're working on iron, but every single vitamin else we have. Thousand percent of your daily recommended. So we we took the daily recommended and we said, fuck you. And we gave it 10 times that. Okay. And just one little tablespoon of ketchup. It tastes nothing like ketchup. It's red. <laughs> it's creamy. And it's just straight up vitamin. It's we just crushed all the vitamins and put red food dye. But you dip your, ke- your, your fry in one little dollop of it and you're just... You know, you're loaded with vitamins. Okay. Why would you limit yourself to ketchup? You want people to eat French fries every day in order to take their vitamins? Why would you need to eat anything else if you have vitamin ketchup? You have all the vitamins in the world. What about like protein or just like basic nutrition other than vitamins and minerals? Well, our our product next year, if this does well, we're going to do protein mustard, but that's later. (laughs) That's so we have, we have to sell at least like a couple thousand of the vitamin ketchups to fund ourselves there. Do you want to know how much it costs? Oh my God. Sure, Julian. <clears throat> well, right now it's um, the first bottle I made cost $300 <laughs> to make because I had to go to like 10 different vitamin shops and buy them out of almost everything. So you crushed all these vitamins up yourself. With my hands. And put them into a paste that you are calling ketchup. Yeah. That's disgusting. One of the vitamins is is actually natural, naturally occurring in a tomato. So technically, the FDA said we can call it ketchup. Don't we can do it? So you've had contact with the FDA about this product. I looked on their website. Okay. They won't return my calls, but I found on their Q and A on their website are frequently asked questions. What like what's in a it tomato? Said, yeah. Well, first of all, I looked up tomato. <laughs> that was the first step of my. Quest. And then once I found what was in the tomato, I made sure that there was one uh, vitamin. It's called vitamin T, actually. Weirdly, it, it, it's natural in a tomato. But it's not a so thing. So we put vitamin T in our, in our mixture. Then what's, what's the name of vitamin T? Vitamin T. Just vitamin T? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, vitamin T. Oh, okay. Anyway, we're selling it in large bottles, like beer-sized bottles, uh, for your diners. We sell only in bulk. You cannot just buy one. So I'm either out. you believe I don't in us want this. or no, I don't. I don't want to eat vitamin ketchup. You're gonna be so vitamined. You're gonna be I don't so. Want it. You're gonna be so healthy. You're not gonna want to eat anything but fries, and you're gonna feel the best you've ever felt. That's disgusting. And guaranteed, you will reach your fitness goals if you buy vitamin ketchup. Guaranteed. You can't do that. Guaranteed. You cannot do that. Guaranteed. If you don't reach your fitness goals, you can come find me. I'll give you a refund in person, but you can't catch me. I'll run faster than you. <laughs> What does a vitamin paste have to do with your fitness goals? Everything. No one's ever supplemented every single vitamin out there in one <laughs> item and shoved it in your mouth. What about a multivitamin? No, that's... What does your that? vitamin ketchup have? That's a multivitamin. That, a multivitamin. that sounds like a competitor. Does it? <laughs> is it? Is it multiple vitamins in one vitamin? <laughs> what is your question when you... <laughs> No, we no, no. went around this to vitamin shops or GNC or whatever and acquired all of these vitamins yes. to crush up. Yeah. Why wouldn't you just crush up a multivitamin and put it in ketchup? Well, I don't. I still don't know what that is. <laughs> Never heard of it? I, from what I'm getting, I think it sounds like something that has multiple vitamins in one pill. Mm-hmm. But that still doesn't solve the problems for people who don't want to take a pill. What about they make multivitamin <laughs> gummies? They're I'm allergic to gummies. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. I'm allergic to gummies. <laughs> All gummies. Respect my allergies, please. <laughs> what is it in the gummy you're allergic to? Vitamin G. Okay. You know what? I'm out. Please. Julian, it's please, been, it's been please. a pleasure. I have nowhere to go. My mom kicked me out. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, but it sounds like... I stole like... her containers to use for my ketchup. <laughs> I made messes in the kitchen. I'm really sorry that you never saw multivitamins coming, but I'm going to have to Okay. It was a good idea, though, Julian. I like where you're going. <laughs> Shit. 
You unplugged your headphone. You don't need to turn around every time you come back in the tank. Oh my god. My favorite episode of Shark Tank was when they invested in that guy's YouTube channel. <laughs> Oh my god, I remember that. <laughs> what was that channel again? I forgot. I don't remember. But it was really funny. Okay, I'm back. I won't turn around anymore. That's kind of a mess. <clears throat> Welcome. I uh, thank you for having me here. My name is Julian and I are Do you use a mouse pad? On my PC. It's pretty boring, right? They're all just the same. It's just one little piece of quarter inch thick, maybe rubber, maybe rubber. and That's rubber? What is a mouse pad made of? It's like foam. Foam. Stretchy foam. Mm -hmm. But it, they're all just the same. They look exactly the same. Every mouse pad in the entire world is black. I've never... That's there's No, no, no. Th this balls. I'm not done. Okay. Every single mouse pad confirmed on Earth has only been made pure black with no designs on them ever. Now it's time to ju juice up your mouse pad game for all the people who come over and look straight at that mouse pad. <laughs> Introducing mouse plaid. It's a plaid mouse pad. <laughs> Get the fuck out. That only comes in plaid <laughs> patterns. Um, Julian. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's Julian, my invention. Julian, it sounds like you haven't done any research whatsoever. You made your product based off of a pun. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't like puns? I don't like puns. But but mouse plaid. I'm, <laughs> I'm <laughs> so absolutely out. I'm sorry, <laughs> but good luck. Oh, man, I am so screwed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Play the music again. You got to come back in. Just right. don't twirl. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Do you ever take something out of, you ever have a cold drink and you want it to stay cold, but by the bottom sip, it's just a little bit warm and you're like, shit. And you just huck it at the wall because you just wish it was cold. And then you end up going to get another one only to just loathe the moment where you get back to that low point in the drink and it's warm again. The drink doesn't stay cold. It's impossible. Is no, there... Nothing exists for it to stay cold. Okay. You know... Introducing cold stir. It's a coaster that you put in the freezer and then when you're ready to drink, you put it on your table and you put your drink on it and it infuses cold vibes into your <laughs> drink <laughs> so that when you're at the bottom sip of your drink, it stays cold. It stays cold. Cold vibes is a scientific term. Cold vibes? Yeah. <clears throat> so basically... They're coasters that you put in the freezer. Mm -hmm. They retain the cold vibes. And when you take them out, <laughs> they put the cold vibes into your drink. <laughs> so that your drink never has to be warm ever again. Okay, but... We're also developing a hot one. <laughs> you stick them in the microwave. We're just doing a lot of testing right now. Going through a lot of microwaves. You, you just put it in the microwave. <laughs> We're trying to cover both spectrums, hot and cold. Oh my God. Both sides of the spectrum. <clears throat> I don't... You but know, I'm telling you cold stir. Okay. So the offer is for a portion of cold stir. Yeah. But not 40% of my business. Not for hot stir. Well, if you invest in cold stir. Okay, both. Okay. Um, you know, since you didn't bring me any samples today to use, how I was told not to bring anything. <laughs> the security guard took everything it at the door. It seems like just based on some logic. That it would just make the bottom of your drink very cold. That's the point. It's, the, it's the, like the lower third of the liquid. But what about when you're drinking yeah. and your drink has ice cubes in it yeah. and you drink it fast enough that you still have ice cubes in it? Are those not keeping your drink cold? Ice cubes? Why would you put ice cubes in your drink? That's just so... Like, I'm all about... What about a hydro flask or... I'll get to that. I have an invention for that later. No, this is for when you're at the table, you're drinking a cold glass of OJ with pulp and you want the bottom half. To, you're not going to put ice in your OJ. I'm talking about drinks that like you don't na you don't naturally put ice in. It's like weird. It's not like a soda. I'm talking about like juice, okay. like orange juice. 
uh, or water. I don't think it's a bad idea. I would just need to know if it worked. Mm. Same with your well, hot, the cold, hot stir. Well, the cold stirs are made of glass. So just so don't it, drop them because they will shatter if they're cold. How is that going to stay cold? It's well, like, the, we tested a lot of things. and you It's like when you put a frosted wood mug. Wood and glass were the only things we tested. <laughs> wood did not stay cold. Glass stayed cold. It's like when you put a glass in the freezer. Yes. Like a frosted glass. Yes, correct. That really doesn't stay cold that long. Well, how long are you going to need? Finish your drink, damn it. Oh, my God. You know what? Um... It's not the worst idea I've ever heard, but I think that we're going to run into some issues. Okay, okay, scrap with, that. Scrap that. Hot stir. Only hot stir. Hot stir. Only hot stir. I'm scrapping cold stir. Hot stir sounds like it might be dangerous. Hot stir. Well, I will, even if it kills someone on my team, we are going to do all the testing we need to and all the microwaves to make sure that whatever material we use to put it in the microwave, it definitely works. I'm sorry. Julie. It definitely works. I have to be out. Imagine. I don't want a glass cold stir and I don't want a hot stir. Me- a medium a, stir. A mug. What about a medium stir? No. It's not hot enough. I'm sorry. But I'm it, out. Thank you for coming. <laughs> you just argue with the sharks the whole time. <laughs> Are you ever in a meeting <laughs> at work and you're j- you you just you're chewing gum and you hate, you fucking hate the meeting because you hate your job, but you're like, you're chewing gum and you want to go to the bathroom real quick, but you don't want to chew gum in the bathroom because it's like, you know? So <laughs> oh where do you put your gum while you go to the bathroom or a water break or something? Or you're going to go, what? you're going to go down the street to Arby's and you come back, you're, you're gumless. Introducing meeting gum. It's gum with plastic coating on the outside so you can stick it under the conference room table and come back to it tomorrow or after your break without having to worry about germs. It's plastic. It's gum made of plastic. <laughs> no. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't transmit germs. I've tried it like three times. No. Why? Why why deprive people of gum at work? They just want it's gum. It's not gum. Give them a little bit of pleasure. It's plastic. It's gum coated with plastic. No. Meeting gum. <laughs> you could be the cool new guy in the office. Hey, what's that in your mouth? Can I have some? And You're then, just like chewing on a piece of plastic? Yes. And then you go... <laughs> pop it under the <laughs> bottom of the desk. It stays there for however long. The best part no. about the plastic filling, aside from the fact that it's pure plastic and it's terrible for the environment, is that it will keep the gum fresh for as long Julian, as you want to leave it there for. it's coated in plastic, how is it sticking to things? Patent technology. We had a breakthrough. Is it covered in like one of those little gummy hands that you get out of like a little vending machine? Like that kind of sticky? I can't reveal our formula on there. Is it sticky? Yes. So you're chewing a sticky substance mm-hmm. in your mouth mm-hmm. that resembles gum mm-hmm. that also doesn't Well, we have flav- they're flavors. Do you want to know what flavors? What are your flavors? We're not allowed to do mint. We have... The FDA said no for mint. So we found that the only food group that would allow us to use their flavor um, is bratwurst. So we have bratwurst. That's disgusting. No, you're chewing a bratwurst flavored piece of plastic that you're then going to stick under a conference table. Tell me that's not better than doing literally nothing. Who wants to sit in a conference room ever for any reason? It sounds like your target demo is a group of people who aren't going to be working in a conference room very long. So what you're not going to have any customers. What does that mean? Because you can't just keep sticking your gum on someone else's table in a but, work environment. But, but first of all, no one in the room owns the table. It's a rented lease of an office, okay? No one's actually going to f- lose it. Second of all, it's, it's your board. Julian? What? Innovative product. Not down with the marketing. I'm out. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> okay i'll come back from that one this one was inspired by today's events today we had a blackout our whole house lost power for the entire day and part of the night which reminded me i'm sitting there with my lantern cranking away 
you know, just cranking away, trying to give that thing power because I knew that later on in the night I have to pack uh, my bag and I have no light, so I'm going to need some sort of light, so I'm cranking. And I'm like, this is stupid. And then I farted. And I thought to myself, imagine if I didn't have to do any of the cranking to get this lantern to work, all I had to do was fart. I just needed to fart once. I'm out. And all of the energy of my fart gets transmitted into kinetic energy that goes into the lantern. So later, you can release the fart as energy as the form of light. You're out for light. out. This is literal light. I'm giving you light in the form of alternative energies inside of your body. You, it, can you, you want to hear what the name of it is before you go out, please? What? Butt lantern. <laughs> For emergencies when you don't want to sit there and crank like a troglodyte, just put on the butt lantern. Every time you fart, the butt lantern transforms energy from your fart into light and powers the lantern later on. I'm out. Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. I'm just not interested at all. <laughs> what, are you going to crank? I don't understand who your demo is. <laughs> My demo is the people who are prepped to survive in the event of an emergency with gas. They're prepped with gas. I'm out. What happens if you don't have gas? You need nothing besides gas. Okay, I'm so out. You could. Oh, I don't oh. want any gas-related products. There's I'm a out. filter. It it filters out the smell. I'm out. Are you claiming that you're becoming bioluminescent from farting, or it goes into the lantern? <laughs> it goes into the lantern. I'm you, out. The butt pad it goes into your pants. You uh, fart right, into right a butt up, pad. right up against your dumper. It's like a filter. It's like you know when you that put that doesn't the, create enough the, energy to light a lantern. Uh, please, you're not my uh, scientist. Please, I know what I'm doing. Um, but you know, uh, like a dryer sheet when you put it in. What's the energy that it's feeding off of? The heat. Uh, that is also very classified. Don't 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 ask that again. Actually, don't even ask that. This again. is a lie. Um, it's not. No, it doesn't. I rescind my offer. You, you you're not allowed to invest. You can't. I'm leaving the show. Power today. a light with your fart. I'm out. Peace. I'm out. Out. I'm out. I said I'm out first. <laughs> I'm out. Good for you. Get out. Don't come back. Shit. Okay. Ready? <clears throat> I have a company that helps people dress the way they want. <laughs> ready? Are you ready? Brace yeah, yourself. Yeah. Dress the way they want without having to go to the store. It's like an online personal stylist. It's called Stitch Fix. And what you do is you, you know sign what? up for Stitch Fix with a profile of yourself, just like you would any other website, but except uh, for Stitch Fix, it's different in that you fill out all sorts of different preferences about what you like to wear. Do you wear t-shirts? Do you wear hoodies? Do you wear button downs? Do you wear sweaters? Do you wear ties? Do you wear dresses? Do you wear blouses? How tight do you like them? It's like so down to every last detail that you could ever think of. It really does feel like you have a personal stylist taking notes on all of what you want in your wardrobe. So you basically log on to stitchfix.com slash Jen and Julie, tell them your sizes, tell them your preferences, and you basically get paired with your very own personal assistant who hand picks items to send right to your door. Then you try them on and you pay only for what you love and return the rest. Shipping, exchanges, and returns are always free, and there's no subscription required. You can sign up to receive scheduled shipments or get your fix from Stitch Fix whenever you want. Uh, their styling fee is only $20, which is applied toward anything you keep from your shipment. You guys can get started right now. I actually literally just filled out my Stitch Fix profile. I haven't gotten the clothes yet because we just got it sorted, but uh, I'm looking forward to getting my stylist to send me clothes. Like, what? Hello? That's super dope. So go to stitchfix.com slash Jenna Julian. Get 25% off extra when you keep all the items in your box. Check it out. Stitch Fix. Thank you. Uh, also, guys, HoneyBook. I know a lot of you guys are graphic designers and photographers out there. And if you're trying to run your own business based on that skill, it can be a pretty daunting thing to run a business when all you really know how to do or all you started knowing how to do was just your craft. Uh, basically, HoneyBook is an all-in-one business platform for small businesses. They offer all sorts of tools to streamline your workflow. They help you with calendar management, custom branded brochures, proposals, even contracts, which I know personally firsthand that those can be a total bitch 
to get done. So having a template for those sorts of things can go a very, very long way. I started my own business, Wafsicle. It was like, there's a lot of things you don't see coming when you're doing contracts and uh, sending out things to like brand decks or any sort of number of things. They help you with all sorts of uh, business focused parts of your, uh, your venture. And the payment is flexible. You can pay monthly or annually, whichever works for you best uh, at the time and your business. Uh, honeybook.com, use code Jenna Julian. Over 75,000 photographers, designers, event professionals, and other solo entrepreneurs have saved hundreds. Check it out. It is a really cool service, and I think a lot of people here can get some use out of it. The link is in the description. Also, guys, the skim. Okay, If you need to know what's going on in the world, don't jump from social media to social media or go to your homepage or get, get uh, what is it called when you go to like New York Times and they like lock you out because you don't pay? It's like like some sort of wall, like paywall, a paywall. Don't get blocked by paywalls. The skim, Annoying. the skim is solving all those problems for you. The skim takes information everywhere that they get, the most important little nuggets that you need to know, and they compile it all in a like easy, bite-sized, beautiful newsletter into your email inbox completely for free every morning. Uh, just go to the skim t h e s k i m m dot com slash Jen and Julian. You enter your email. You click subscribe, and then the next day, you're going to get one in your email. How great is that? One of the things I do when I log on, like, my phone in the morning is I go to Twitter Moments just to see, like, what's going on, you know, to make sure there's, like, no crazy events that you haven't seen. The skim does that for you. They take the top events that you need to know, and they tell you, all right? When you use that URL, the skim.com slash Jenna Julian, uh, you are entered to win a $250 Visa gift card, and that means you can spend it on whatever you like. So check it out. Hit the link in the description. And thank you to our sponsors. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, sponsors. Oh, my God. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Hi, Bobby. Do you ever go out into the world, whether it's the gym or your office or the gym, and you're really thirsty, but you don't realize until you're out in the world. Uh huh. Do you, I feel like you just said that? Yeah. To no. Nice. Sometimes I'm I'm away from water and would like some water. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And do you ever like see someone who has a hydro flask and you're like, "That's what I want right now." Mm hmm. That is a hydro flask, and I wish it was mine. Yeah. Introducing. Water. Sorry, you interrupted me. Sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I thought sharks had manners. Introducing MyDroFlask. MyDroFlask is an online license that you illegally buy from me <laughs> to gives you legal uh, ownership of any HydroFlask that you see out in the world and want. MyDroFlask. It's not a HydroFlask. It's MyDroFlask. Julian, this is another pun company that is completely <laughs> illegal and doesn't Only need to Only $200 a month. Just PayPal me, please. And no. you will get your ID in the mail. At some point. No. And it'll have your name completely spelled right. I promise. I only <laughs> fucked up a couple. Don't talk to those guys. No. I'm out. Julian, it's illegal. Oh, you're you just going to die of thirst out in the world. Pe you're not going to die of thirst. You can find somewhere that has a, a, a what, water fountain. Mm, that or sounds you can pretty go archaic buy some to water me. Somewhere. That sounds pretty archaic to me. Why not just grab a, a hydro flask? They're on every corner. Everyone has one. And they could all be yours. They're not yours. For the low, low price of $200 to my PayPal every month. Okay, so Julian. Or if I need more, if I use, on my If month. I use your product and stole someone's Hydro Flask and got just slapped in the face because I tried to steal someone else's belonging, what do you do for me then? Well, I'm gone by then. I'm <laughs> long gone. I'm out. You also need to read the small print. No. What's you the small You know the small print? print? What? It's so small that by the time you actually can read it, I'm gone. I'm out. And there is no print. A legal company. Don't report me. I'm reporting you. Don't report me. I'm calling the cops. I'm starting a new company. No. It's called my phone. That's my phone. <laughs> no. I'm leaving. No. It's my phone. That's illegal. I have a my phone license. I'm out. <laughs> you criminal. I'm not a criminal. How are you going to run your business from jail? I'll figure out a way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? Oh, do I need to play music? Okay. <clears throat> Hello, sharks. Do you ever look into the mirror and just think, I wish there was more? More what? Just with the mirror. Like more 
mirrors are boring. They just look like you. Do you ever think that? No. Just say yes. Yes. Okay. Introducing USB mirror. <laughs> is a mirror with USB ports. So when you plug in your phone, you, so you can plug in your phone into it. I'm honestly, I'm down. I'm absolutely down. Okay. They probably exist. Do they exist? Uh, I have not checked. You should check. No, no, no. I'm here in the Shark Tank. I'm not going to spend my time on my phone. I'm here pitching to you. Do you have money for me? No. It's, you plug your phone into the mirror. I understand. Okay. It would have been really helpful. At like In college, I used to just have a floor mirror, and that was it. So I would sit in front of it and do my makeup. I, I, I think a lot of people do things like that like because it's the closest you can get or if there's good light. Like A lot of people sit on the ground against the floor mirror to do their makeup or get ready. Okay. And just so we're clear, you just plug your phone into it. Yeah. All right. Are you into it? Are you into yeah, the idea? Yeah, does it exist? No, it doesn't exist. I'm the first person to do Look it. Look it up. No. I refuse. No, no, no. Get off your phone. That's rude. It's my investing in no, your wait, mirror. No, wait. Hold is on. Just yes or no. Just yes or no. Marbles, how about you? Are you interested? Sir. You're not allowed to pressure Sir, I'll give you five like dog that. bones. Um, Do you have any questions about the product? Like what it, like, don't look. Stop. Please stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop, stop. Oh, Julie. No, you didn't. No. Can you listen to my whole. <laughs> Smart mirror, voice no. controlled. No, no. Like the one that I have in my bathroom that has a iPhone charger in it. Can I explain the, my actual idea? You didn't listen to what it does. You plug your phone into the mirror. So you don't lose your phone. It doesn't charge anything. <laughs> No, no, no. No, no there's no. no charging. But that doesn't that means that you're not gonna risk ever getting shocked. No, 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 dude, 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 dude. No. Plenty of mirrors exist where you can plug your phone into them. If it's small, there's a lot of those that exist. If it was a big floor mirror, maybe there's not too many, but no. They exist, Julian. I'm sorry, I have to be out. But that is a good idea. Okay. You ever put something Velcro, um, sorry, I'm nervous. Let me start over. <clears throat> Do you ever put Velcro stickies on things to make them stick to each other? Because, yes. well, you need some Velcro. Yeah. Well, introducing Velcro, no. Okay. Velcro, no, no. <laughs> this is voice activated Velcro, so it sticks to itself. But when you say no, it, let, it lets go of the bond. How did Voice you, activated Velcro. Velcro, how did, no. How did you harness the technology from like saying an audible word into it turning into a mechanical action? We stole it. From who? Siri. Siri doesn't do anything mechanical. You can just talk to her. Oh, it works. I don't know. I paid a designer on Fiverr and he made it. He's an engineer. It works. It works. Can you give me a scenario where I'd like to say no? What if I have them holding different things that, and you say no just in conversation and they all fall Whichever apart. one you're talking to, it releases. It knows. It, 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 whichever one you're talking to, it knows. It just, it just knows. It just knows. Maybe you're, you have your phone Velcro to the table and you just don't want it to fall. No. Then so the, the word is no, not Velcro? No? Well, the product's name is Velcro No. But you say no. If I say no in conversation to you, well, my things... Everything will fall. <laughs> That's what I just asked. And you said it knows which one I'm talking to. Well, the voice algorithm isn't quite there yet. I'm if out. You will. <laughs> I'm out. And I doubt that that exists. Okay, fine. Fine. I'm on to the next one. Am I going to play the theme song? Introducing my fitness enemy. It's just like my... <laughs> It's just like my fitness pal. But instead of tracking the macros and calories for you, once you finish a meal, it just... Tells you that you should have ate something else. That's so negative. Absolutely not. Imagine finishing a giant bowl of pasta and then you pick up your phone and open My Fitness Enemy and says, should I eat pizza? Idiot. No. Negative. No. I'm out. Or if you're just chomping on some celery and your fitness enemy pops up, it's an alert, a push notification that says, how about that taco truck? Idiot. You should have had tacos. I'm out. <laughs> Fine. I don't want anything negative Fine. telling I'll, me what to eat. I'll send you the app for free. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Introducing. Do, do you ever take a nap and feel bad for doing it? Yeah. You do. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. Nap guilt. Yeah. Over 50,000 million Americans suffer every year from nap guilt. <laughs> <laughs> but no more. Introducing grandma pillow. 
With Grandma Pillow, you upload a recording of your grandma saying, good job, name. You deserve a nap. So when you lay your head down on the pillow, that's what you hear. Guilty naps no more. If your grandma's dead, we have stock grandma recordings that you can use. Oh my God. All my grandparents are dead. Well, we have stock recordings. It's a common thing for people's grandparents to be dead. Wait, so why does the recording of your grandma saying, good job, you deserve a nap? Who doesn't want to get complimented by their grandma? So, Oh, so it's encouraging you to take the nap yes. and feel good about yes, it. Yes, it's, it's all about self-love. Unlike my fitness enemy. <laughs> it's quite the opposite of my fitness enemy. Actually, a, a pillow pal. I want to rename it. Can I rename it? That's a thing that exists. No. no, no. M- or my pillow. My pillow pal is mine. No, it's, no, it's grandma pillow. Grandma pillow pal. I like the idea. You lay your head down? Holy shit, what the fuck is that? (laughs) It's just a talking pillow. Yeah, well, it's a talking pillow that you can upload MP3s directly to via (laughs) us doing it for you. So you can't do it. Once you buy the pillow, it's stuck with that noise. Mm. We're talking, we're in talks with Build-A-Bear. They said no. (laughs) Uh, But we're still in talks with them. We won't stop emailing them. No. Come on. Grandma pillow. It's... (laughs) Why would I need to buy a pillow when I could just listen to a recording of my grandma saying, good job, Jenna, you deserve a nap? But or someone's grandma. Why don't it's I just, just like a grandma voice. Like yeah, an why actor. don't I just listen to that? Why do I need to buy your pillow? Because it's a pillow. Who the hell doesn't need a new pillow? You I do. I've I seen your pillows. I don't need a new pillow. I've seen your pillows. You could use a new one. I like my pillows. All right, just how about like five bucks? Can, I just buy, <laughs> can you buy one? No, I'm out. All right. You ever browsing SoundCloud and then look up from the screen and think, what the fuck am I doing with my life? (laughs) Wow, Julian. What? Yeah, sure. SoundCloud is one thing. Sound. Why would you spend so much time on one thing? It's one sense. Only one of your senses gets to appreciate it. You're depriving the rest of your body of... What is this? I put him up there so I can move my legs, but then he just like sat down. So He likes the cool table. Why would you deprive your whole body of all the other uh, senses out there in the world? Introducing, and also there's different types of artists out there, Mm -hmm. ones that don't make sounds. Mm -hmm. Introducing Smell Cloud. It's for you artists out there who can make art in the form of smell. I'm out. Like SoundCloud, but for your nose. No drugs allowed. You plug the Smell (laughs) Cloud chip into your nose and then download the app, not on Android. And you can scroll through your feed of smells that artists in the UK, it's coming to the US soon, have uploaded. Honestly, interesting that technology doesn't exist. It's like it does. how people always wanted smell a vision. Okay, but you have to like, just because work with it me a rhymes bit. with television. Work with me a little bit. Smell cloud. Yeah. It sounds good, right? Cloud. I think that there's definitely a market for people that love smells. People love candles. And if some guy just tries people to ruin it all scents. by uploading farts, he gets he gets strikes That's on his fine. account. There's plenty of people that would love to to digitally go through a file of smells like if someone could recreate the smell of my garage when i was young like i would pay anything it was the best smell in the whole world what made it that smell it was like a mixture of like our lawnmower gasoline with like this like musty it was so good it was like musty mossy smell like it was just incredible i loved it i would go in there just to smell it okay like smells are really powerful but you can't yeah. I doubt that your technology exists that you can ch- just plug a chip with, into your nose. Just roll with it a little bit. It exists. Okay. Invest in something. I'll invest in that. Smell cloud. Yeah. All right. 50-50? I, I still own 100% of it, though. <laughs> All right, deal. Good deal. I'll Thank invest in smell Thank you for your investment. Cloud. All affects you. Thank <clears> you. <throat> All right. Next up. I got. Should I do like two more? Sure. Whatever you want. Paperweight. Spelled W-A-I-T. It's a paperweight that says weight on it. No, 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 no. I'm out. I'm so out. it can provide physical weight. No. Nope. But also serve as a sign to encourage patients in life. Paperweight. That's a novelty pun. I'm out. All of these are puns. Okay. <clears throat> our alarm clock. Our alarm clock. It's an alarm clock that goes off anytime Ariana Grande releases new music, but the alarm <laughs> sound isn't Ariana music. It's we, all we could get was Chingy music. I'm ready to buy. <laughs> oh my god! How much? 
Uh, fifty-five dollars per unit. That's it. I'm in all the way in. I'm all the way in. You want to buy forty percent of the company? You know, you threw me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you threw me for a loop there when you said you couldn't get Ariana's music, but when you said Chingy, like it, I'm sold. Yeah. So it does alert. It, the algorithm does work. Mm-hmm. Every time she drops new music on any platform, it goes off. But the music that it goes off with is Chingy music. I'm down. I'm down. He let us use his music. Absolutely. Okay. Love it. I love that. As long as you're cool with Ariana not making a cent off of this. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, no, it sure. all goes to me. And yeah, without you. Definitely. Ari Alarm Clock. Ari Alarm Clock. Very excited. Don't <laughs> scratch my finger when we <clears> shake <throat> hands. Okay. I only have one more note here. Okay. Just says 2D printer. <laughs> I think it's just a printer. It's <laughs> just a printer, Julian. Do you want to invest? No. <laughs> No. It's a 2D printer. Yeah, with like paper? Yeah. No, I'm out. If you're looking at printers and you see old, boring, whatever printer, laser and then jet. 2D printer, you're going to buy the 2D printer. No, I'm not. It's telling you how many dimensions it works on. I'm literally not. 2D printer. No. 2.5D? 2.5D. <laughs> it's got like ridges, a little texture. What what defines 2.5D? It's almost and in not... the third dimension. It's not quite in the second dimension. It's 2.5. It's just like you can make topographical maps with it. I think that that's 3D. It's 2.5. So it, it's 2.5 because it's like raised a little, but it's <clears> not quite a physical object. It's still paper, just raised. I skipped class in high school. I okay. don't know any of this. I'm out. Okay. That's fair. I wouldn't invest either. <laughs> 2D printer. I'm out. I'll get investors elsewhere. I got some guys down at the club who would, who would invest. Right, guys? So far, the only companies I invested in were Smell Cloud and Ari Alarm Clock. Yes. Okay, well, you know what? I can only come up with so many inventions. I worked about a week on this list, okay? I really worked hard on this list. Not the whole week consecutively, like a couple moments throughout the week. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. I, I tried to make these good inventions. Mouse plaid? Mouse plaid. Get rid of your boring ass mouse pads. Um, well, I don't know. How did I do in the Shark Tank? It was good. You had a lot of creative products. Um, some of them definitely don't or can't exist. Uh, vitamin not ketchup, for attitude. example, is not <clears throat> ketchup. And sounds disgusting, but other than that, I mean, no, no not until you try really, it, my guy. Really good creativity in your products. All right. And I will buy a mirror with a USB in it. That sounds nice. Okay, it doesn't charge your phone at all. It's just like it's basically to ma- made so you don't lose your phone. It's, ba- it's a glorified rope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put my phone on a rope if I feel like I'm gonna lose it sitting rope, in a mirror. Rope charger, rope USB. It's a USB that you plug into your phone. And instead of charging your phone, it sticks out little spikes inside your phone and locks in. So no matter what you do, you cannot take it out of your phone. And that would cause problems, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No more of this song. Well, thank you guys for joining us. That was really good, Julian. Thank you for sharing your inventions. Hopefully you enjoyed watching Shark Tank Julian Edition. Yeah, what could we name this? I don't know. Julian... Julian tries to sell inventions on Shark Tank. Hmm. Hi. Julian goes into the Shark Tank, maybe? <laughs> Whatever Ju- you want. Bye, Julian Bye. in the Shark Tank. Well, so cute. Thank you guys for hanging out with us for another episode. We love you all very much. And uh, we hope you have a wonderful week. We'll see you guys next week for another podcast. Good luck in Canada, Julie. <sighs> thank you. By this time, for you guys, I will be back. Hopefully the trip went well. And we got into the country. <laughs> uh, you guys uh, be good. We'll see you in a week. You like that scratch, Mumble? Bye. Bye.